Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about substitution byte and shift rows in AES. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the stages that go in each round in AES. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. This is very, very simple class to understand. If you have the basic knowledge about uh, our previous classes, substitution, permutation and all those things. Now coming to today's class, uh, here in our last class we discussed that uh, we are having 128 bit plain text. That plain text is converted into a state. State will be um, in the form of matrix. First byte, second, second byte, third byte, fourth byte, fifth byte, sixth byte, seventh byte, eighth byte. Like this, we are going to store our data, 128 bit plain text in the form of matrix. Means two dimensional array. Here it was given that 0, 0 means that one byte means one byte is placed here, the first byte of the plain text. It is converted into hexadecimal form. In order to make you better understanding, if you write it as a binary number, it is very difficult to understand. It is written in hexadecimal. 8 bits means you can write it in two hexadecimal numbers. Each hexadecimal number needed four, byte, four bits. So 0, 0. Next byte is 0, 4. Next one is 1, 2, 1, 4, 1, 2, 0, 4, 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, C. Hexadecimal format. This is our first state. And in our last class, we discussed that the first stage is a substitution byte, byte substitution. Means take the first byte, in place of that byte, substitute another byte. That is what byte substitution. So in order to do the substitution, we need a substitution table. In order to make you easily understand, in order to not to make it clumsy, the complete table is not given here. Substitution table is not provided here. The complete substitution uh, table is provided in our uh, website learningmonkey.in. There we have provided the image of the complete substitution table. So now try to understand how this substitution happens. See here, the first hexadecimal number and the second hexadecimal number. The first hexadecimal number is taken in the form of rows. So if you, if you are having a substitution hexadecimal number, how many hexadecimal numbers will be there? 16 possibilities are there. 0, 1, 2, 3, so on up to F. Similarly, each column, 16 columns will be considered. The first one is considered in the rows. And the second hexadecimal is, number, is considered in the columns. This is how mapping happens in substitution table. So 0, 0 0th row, 0, 0 0th column. So what's there in the substitution table? In place of 0, 0, substitute 6, 3. So 0, 0, substitute 6, 3. This is the substitution which you got after substitution byte using this table. Similarly, 1, 2, first row, second column. This is where you have to check. There it mentioned that 1, 2 means C9. In place of 1, 2, you have to substitute C9. This is what the substitute substitution table. So during the encryption, we are going to use this substitution table to do the byte substitution. Similarly, during the decryption, we have to take inverse substitution by table. How that will be? 6, 3, which way? 0, 0. In place of 0, 0, you are substituting 6, 3. So the inverse substitution table will be like this. In place of 6 and 3, 6th row and 3rd column, you have to place 0, 0. That is how inverse substitution table will be. In our last class, we discussed that AES are going to use non fistal cipher. This is invertible component. Substitution is an invertible component. You can inverse it. But this is byte level substitution. This point you need to understand means wherever you are having 0, 0. See here, 0, 0. Substitution is 6 and 3. The same bytes. Bytes are substituted. But in our last classes, from the basics of DES, we understand that uh, bits, diffusion and confusion, means uh, one bit uh, in the input uh, 
is dependent on multiple bits from the key and multiple bits from the cipher text so one bit in the cipher text should be divide, should be dependent on multiple bits on the input and multiple bits on the key but this is not happening here in this level that is going to be happen in our third stage which we are going to discuss in our next next class mix columns are going to provide that confusion and diffusion bit level changes will be made at shift columns third stage okay that point you are going to understand in our next next class and this substitution by byte substitution is done in two ways one is using tables and the second one is using gf of 2 power 8 polynomial which we discussed in our previous class so based on that substitution byte will be done this is one way table is one way the second way we are going to understand in our next class now you, you you may understand what substitution byte means now after this is the output which you got after substitution substitution byte so this will be sent to the second stage what is the second stage shift rows is the second stage here it is taking left shift operation so this is the out this same thing we have written here so shifting will be done how it will be shifted is the first row is shifted zero bytes here byte level shifting is done left shift means circular left shift operation zero byte means as it is that's why our output is as it is in the second line we are doing one byte left shifting means left shifting means shift like this f2 come out we are going with the circular left shift means f2 will come to the front this f2 comes to here 63 comes here 26 comes here this whatever the first f2 it will come to the beginning so that's why f2 63 26 f2 this is how circular left shift will be done similarly the second line this is the second line the third line is going to be shifted two bytes means c9 c9 come out this goes to the front that's why 7d d4 c9 c9 the last line is going to be done three byte left shift means fa 6382 will be come out and move to the front so d4 fa 6382 this is what happens during the shift row stage the output which we got from here will be sent to the next stage what is the third stage mix columns so that will be discussed in our next class hope you understand what happens inside the sub substitution byte and shift rows in aes if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you